In this video, we'll show you the basics of filing a locate request using ITIC NXT. To file a locate request, you'll first need to click the My Tickets tab. Make sure Montana is selected in the state drop-down menu. Click the Create Job Ticket button and select Two Business Days Ticket from the drop-down menu. With ITIC NXT, you start the locate process by locating and identifying the worksite on the map. Enter an address or the name of a building in the Starting Address Location field. Once you have found the correct location, you can start mapping out your worksite. You will do this by creating one or more shapes on the map that represent your excavation area. These shapes are called excavation entities. Access your drawing tool menu in the upper left corner of the map. You have several options available to ensure you can precisely and accurately cover your worksite. For now, let's stick with the Radius tool. The Radius Excavation tool lets you place one or more circular excavation entities. Before you can use the Radius tool, you'll need to enter the size of the Radius entity. You'll also need to provide a physical reference point and a description of where the reference point is located. You can place additional entities as needed. Make sure to update the size and reference information if necessary. Click Next to move on to the next step. ITIC NXT will automatically determine how many tickets are required to cover the work areas designated in your session based on rules established by Montana 811. In this example, two tickets are required, one for each radius excavation. These two tickets are represented by the tabs at the top of the screen. Carefully review the information on each ticket in your session before continuing. ITIC NXT automatically derives marking instructions from the mapping you did in the previous page. The job description field contains a number of required fields that you will need to fill out before moving on. Empty required fields will have a red border around them. Before we fill out those fields, let's go back to the top of the page. Just above the ticket tabs, there is a small checkbox labeled Apply to All Tickets. When this box is checked, information entered on one ticket will carry over to all tickets in the current job. Excavator information is drawn from your excavator profile. When ready, click the Next button to move on to Step 3. Step 3 is where you review and submit your locate request. If everything is correct, click the Submit Tickets button to submit your locate request. You will then be presented with a list of utilities that will be notified as a result of your ticket. You can now return to the My Tickets section or start a brand new ticket by clicking the Start New Ticket button. Thanks for watching.